she got left. Cause it hurt my shit. He tried to put me to the test. I lay like 150 more. where I got uh, housewares. Oh, oh, I guess it's just growing up, you know, growing up, you know, hearing about the sales and, you know, um, you know, the, what was it, like the 10 cent turkey and the yeah. 10 cent bag of potatoes and that kind of stuff, right? I've been inside a couple times. Uh, I've bought some sweaters there before. I also helped with the On Set Farewell Party. Uh, provided all the lighting and staging and audio equipment that went on with that. I was born here and my dad was born here as well and I know his, his, his mother used to come here and like, I don't know when this place was founded, but he was a kid in the 60s. I think it was like 1948, something like that. Totally. So they used to come here and, and I, yeah, I don't know much. There wasn't like a family story. I wish I could give you a, a better one, but I just, yeah. I just know it's been around since then. And No, it's just kind of been somewhere that I come to buy pajamas. <laughs> um, I guess it was always just like a cool, funky place to go to. Um, that was always really, you know, the bright flashing lights and everything. I guess the stories were more about the weird things that people would buy in there. The weird finds. No crazy stories, but I know he's a cool guy. Uh, I... Yeah, good question. Um, Getting really cheap glasses that were like way cheaper than they were anywhere else. At Ikea. Then at Ikea or uh, Amazon. Uh, you know what? I think time, times are changing. Times are changing? It happens. It happens. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it'd be nice if things stayed the same, but yeah. like we live. Uh, right around the corner here. Right. Our backyard backs on to on Ted's property. That's going to be changing. Um, but apparently it's going to be a park. Hey, um, it's unfortunate. Like, I live around the corner and I've lived here for 10 years and part of the reason I'm moving to the neighborhood was because of Honest Ed's and uh, Markham Village and I'm sad to see it go. Well, it kind of sucks, right? Like, where am I going to get, like, houseware. crappy housewares? Yeah. yeah. Right. I feel kind of sad. Yeah, I feel kind of sad. I feel like everything is, I guess, you have change has to happen, but it feels sad that this whole corner is going to be so different um, and the signs will be gone, which is kind of sad. It would be cool if they could have kept the building and then just like maybe renovated the whole thing inside or something like that. Even if you don't necessarily go inside, it's just, it's always nice to see it and you know, like, it's a Toronto right. thing. I think it's just the, the, the pattern of, kind of everything in our in our world, in our society, right? Like you choose something that's, it's not just money, it's, it's kind of like the connection with your past and your your, your ancestral beauty and people are forgetting that, right? Yeah. You, you live in the, you try to live in the future, of like, oh, progress is gonna be so amazing and you forget that like these moments are, these moments that people lived in here are just priceless, right? definitely a, a landmark for downtown Toronto um, so I feel like you know it's so recognizable everyone knows it's there the bright lights I don't know I feel like we could use more like colorful things and bright flashing lights downtown so um, so yeah I feel like it brought a lot of quirkiness yeah. for sure I think it's like a real connection for our past and to bring in like all these tall rise buildings it's, it's really like I don't know, like, there's not really any tall buildings around here, so it's really destroying that community yeah. feeling and, like, the whole suburban feel. It's more bringing the downtown core Modern to the outskirts. Yeah, and I don't really like it at all. Um, it's a, definitely a tourist spot. Uh, anyone who lives here, if they're asked where they live, they'll just say, by honest heads, and everyone knows what they're talking about.
it. Yeah, I mean, they got the theaters downtown. I feel like that's going to be a, a name around for a while. And also just to say, like, I didn't actually come to the ending of this thing, but I know there was like, there was an artist I know who was presenting in here and I thought they honored the history of this building in a way that sort of takes away the sting of knocking it down and putting up a condo. Like there was some respect for what it's been for all these years and, and like a process associated with that. Uh, it's probably a wise thing to do to not make us feel like empty shitheads. That's a good question because I know my parents know more about Onestead than I do and I don't think my kids would know anything. Yeah. I don't know. Just put as much as you can on Wikipedia and I don't know, maybe, maybe if there's uh, developments here, they'll put some sort of monument yeah, towards uh, like what this park. building used to be. I hope so. I'm not, I don't totally know for sure. I know he has a theater on Young yeah. Street, so that will always live on. Um, so, as far as anything else, I mean, they'll probably maybe have some sort of plaque or something yeah. at the corner. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people own the signs, the hand-painted signs. So yeah. I feel like that will be a way that it lives on. I know I, ha I have some. I waited in line to get some. I, I have them in my apartment, and some friends of mine have them framed. I see them like around all over the place, which I think is really cool. Yeah, so, so. yeah it will live on. Yes, yes. Right. You know, the legacy has kind of died. Right. Um, the Mervish name, even you know beyond that, yeah. the Mervish name's legacy is kind of dying as well. Even with like Dave, Dave Mervish. Yeah. Kind of like he's not a, a, as much of a um, public personality or public persona mm -hmm. to push the name and push the you know the community reach, yeah. right? So it's unfortunate, and you know obviously I wish you know they would at least keep a piece of this you know alive in the city because it is part of the city. Yeah, yeah. right. Like that's the important thing. Huge landmark. It's, it's historic, yeah. and it. It represents a positive end. A, I wouldn't say positive end, but a positive motivation towards the city. Where you know, in our city, we have a lot of negativity and a lot of negative attitudes in the city right now. And I think you know, Odyssey brings that positivity back. But you know, we'll see. I, they're not going to plan on doing it. There's been a lot of like, you know, lobbying for you know the sign uh, to be kept and all the stuff, but. Yeah. It seems like a losing battle against the corporations. So.